Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to uh, Lees and Lungs. And today we're gonna see a topic about on uh, methods of plant breeding. Okay, so there are a lot of methods of plant breeding, and uh, one important uh, method of plant breeding is selection. Okay, so selection is just by the name itself. You can know it's like by uh, selecting the plants based upon their phenotypes. Okay. So there are two types of selections basically. So the topic we're gonna see today is about on pure line selection. So selection. So what is selection? So selection is one of the oldest method of breeding. So it was the basis of all the crop improvement uh, and it is essentially based on uh, the phenotype of the plants. So selection. So how the farmers used to select the plants was based upon their appearance. So appearance is uh, according to uh, botanically it's called as phenotype or genetically. So the effectiveness of the selection was primarily depends upon the degree to which the phenotypes of the plants reflects their genotype. So ultimately everything resides upon genotype. So what is inside the genes is what determines the phenotype of the individual. So selection was ultimately depends upon their genotype. Okay. So selection has two basic uh, characteristics or limitation. So first one is selection is effective for heritable uh, heritable differences. Okay, so it is only effective for heritable differences. So it does not create variation selection first of all. It just utilizes the variation that is already present in the population. So thus two requirements of selections are the variation must be present in the population and variation must be heritable. Okay, so because um, it is only effective in heritable differences so if there is no heritability so then there is no use of uh, selection at all so uh, there are two methods of selections are practiced these days so one is as i said earlier there is pure line selection and there is mass mass selection so before going into the topic proper what is pure line selection we should know what is pure line theory okay so pure line theory was first first uh, uh, proposed by a scientist called as Johansson. Okay, so he worked on an experiment uh, that is he selected a crop called as uh, Princess Bean that is Phaseolus vulgaris. Okay, so what is the speciality about this thing is it exhibits self pollination. So how how he actually uh, did the procedure? Okay, so we'll just know about. Okay, so he just went to a shop and bought a lot of uh, seeds of bean seeds actually. Okay, so uh, all of them were weighing. Uh, differently so he established 19 pure lines by selection of individual beans from the mixed seed okay so he got all the seeds from the uh, shop and he segregated the uh, seeds based upon the size and the weight and he planted it and he are ill and he obtained some 19 pure lines okay so smaller seeds gave rise to smaller plants and larger seeds gave rise to larger plants okay so he followed selection among those pure lines too and he selected the smallest and the largest bean okay and he planted and he planted those seeds actually so johnson's theory and conclusion so after the end of the experiment he concluded few things okay so first is so continuous breeding that is selfing always leads to homozygosity okay it always leads to homozygosity and variation within a pure line results from the environment only so if there is any uh, obvious uh, variation it is only because of the environment it is never the genotype or uh, anything that related inside the plant okay so selection within the pure line is not effective okay because all the plants in a pure line have the same genotype okay so as we said the characteristics of a pure line that is pure line uh, selection is they should have a uh, heritability okay they should have heritability and they should have different types of characters so okay so selection within pure line is not effective because all the plants in a pure line have same genotype so this is where its limitation actually uh, comes off so selection in the original population is effective because plants have genetic variation okay so if they have genetic variation selection is very good whereas if they don't have that is after after a prolonged selfing uh, they lose that uh, charm of uh, uh, charm of everything and they becomes a uh, selection becomes ineffective okay so pure line so what is pure line so it is nothing but progeny of a single self fertilized homozygous plant okay that is offspring of a single self fertilized homozygous plant it is very very important and it's been asked in various uh, exams and all so what is pure line selection okay so pure line selection is from the experiment we saw it's nothing but uh, a large number of plants are selected from a self pollinated crop that is imagine the beans okay large number of uh, beans uh, 
uh, been uh, selected by Johnson and it is harvested individually. Okay, so and the uh, individual plant progenies from them are evaluated separately and the best one is released as the variety. Okay, so therefore it is also known as individual plant selection. Okay, so therefore known as individual plant selection. Uh, the characteristics okay so of all the characteristics uh, the most important one is all the plants have the same genotype this is very very important so it is one of the basic characteristics of the pure line culture okay so the, the next one is the phenotypic difference is within a pure line is only environmental related and therefore it is non heritable okay so the variation is always it depends upon the pheno environment not the genotype of the individual as we earlier said the third thing is the pure lines become genetically variable with time okay due to mechanical mixture mutation etc so these are the characteristics that is they have the same genotype and the phenotype and the phenotypic differences only because of their environmental therefore it is non heritable okay the third thing is they becomes uh, genetically variable with time due to mechanical stress and some mutations etc so uh, uses of pure line so how the pure lines has been used okay so of um, so uh, in a pure line selection the superior line is used as a variety okay that is it is released as a variety it is also used as parent in development of new variety by hybridization okay so it is released as a variety it is also used as a parent in development of new variety okay and it is also used for studying mutations and other biological investigations such as medicine immunology uh, physiology and biochemistry etc okay so these are the three uses of pure line it is used as a variety and uh, for various other purposes and all it's been used there so merits so what are the advantages of having pure line selections so it achieves maximum possible improvement over the original variety it is clearly evident that the uh, that the least uh, i mean that is the last final product that we get from uh, pure line selection is always the maximum variety maximum possible uh, yielding variety okay so being extremely uniform it is more liked by the farmers and consumers okay uh, so uh, so it plays an obvious role in uh, uh, farm for farming economy and uh, agronomy and all okay so it is easier than hybridization and it requires less skill and it's also useful for developing inbred lines and pure lines it is very very important point for developing inbred lines and pure lines so due to the extreme uniformity it is easily identified in seed certification programs also so in order to certify seeds uh, uh, pure line selection always play an important role so demerits okay so uh, we have seen earlier that johnson used only beans because they are self pollinating uh, and uh, so it forms a major contradicting factor okay so it's not practiced in cross pollinated plants because it is expensive and laborious okay the variety developed can't be easily maintained by the farmers so the maintenance cost is also very much higher in uh, pure lines the varieties developed by a pure line selection don't have wide adaptability and stability okay and then on uh, the fourth point is uh, so the upper variety i mean the, the newer variety is always created by genetic variation of the original population okay you may get the maximum available variety but you can't get new variety unless some genetic variations or morphing is done there so and also uh, as i said earlier it's more uh, time and laborious than mass selection okay so you have to devote more time uh, when compared to mass selection so these are the demerits of the pure line selection okay so i hope you understand a bit about uh,